Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. So, to, um, first things first, I, I added Optifine, which has definitely helped my frames per second. My FPS is so much better than it used to be. Go away. I don't want you. Go away, you free trees. Um, but I have my, I have my cape now, my Optifine cape. It's now visible because I have Optifine on. Um, so it's definitely been helping with the lag, because, like, last episode that I was filming, I, I think with, I'm having too much just happening all at the same time. Um... But anyways, so this episode, what we are working on is going to be Tinker's Construct. We are going to be finally getting some, like, fancy tools and stuff. Um, not that, honestly, I really don't need them. I've rarely used the sword. This is the first sword I've made, and besides a stone sword. And, yeah. I mean, there's been the rare occasion of this, like, a spawn. But anyways, um, if we plan on going to, like, the nether soon and other stuff like that, we will be needing tools and whatnot. Um, so anyways, um, let me just... Oh, first things first, what we are going to be needing is a tool, which is it? Tool forge. So, oh, we are missing something there. So let's build that. We don't have any of the tools for that. Okay, let me just go through this step by step. So blank pattern. There we go. Let's build tons of that. Let me just get tons of patterns just because. I just stock up on everything. And uh, that that's just a crafting table. So... There we go, and get rid of that. There we go. And... What am I trying to click? There we go. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know what I'm making. Okay. This is why I'm supposed to prepare for an episode beforehand. I did a little bit pre a little preparation, but at the same time, I was like, I should also be showing some of the things I'm doing. So, I don't know. Um, so, we're going to add this, I think, over here and just with all our other stuff so basically what this is going to allow us to start making actual tools but first thing we are doing with tinker's forge is finally oh, upgrade an existing tinker's tool with a metal part so um this, i have my flint pickaxe from make from the previous achievement of making a, a tinker's construct tool so we are going to be using that however i don't have anything to put on it yet now i could try and like an iron tool, an iron ingot. That's not going to work. That's not going to be enough. That is loud and annoying. Um, so what we need to make is actually a uh, golden cast fort. Where am I? Go where am I looking for stuff? Right, I, I left them over here. I prepared things, but I forget where I left them. Okay, so these are little uh, pieces I've made that you would use to make tools. So if you remember from the episode, we made like the flint uh, parts that like. If I combine these three, I would have a pickaxe. However, what I need right now is just the uh, uh, pickaxe head. Now, let me check on this. Is this finally... Oh, my God. This is still emptying out. Uh, we are going to shut that down and grab some gold because I need gold to make the cast. I do not need a stack of gold or even that. There we go. Oh, oops. There we okay. Now... Oh, wait. Now shit now but hey ah, see what i hate is now that's all stuck in there so i still have to wait for that to get out okay so it is finally emptied em uh, emptied emptied is the word i'm trying to say i've literally waited 20 minutes just letting it empty and empty and drain and that is what happens when i try and stockpile on things i have a lot of uh electrum now like tons that i've been stocking up and bringing over here but how much am i actually now yeah a thousand it's just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> but, okay. So, we now have gold in here. The gold is about all melted. And then, so basically, then what I am doing, I am making a cast of the flint uh, head. Because over here, where I can, um, I can make this tool out of flint. However, if I want to make it out of, like, a metal or something, I cannot do that there. So, what we're going to do is we are going to place that right there. Then, let's see. It's all done. Okay. Turn that on, and gold goes in. And turn that off. <laughs> okay. So we now have a frame for the pickaxe head. So we're going to actually stick that back there. Oh, shit. Actually. Okay, you know what? I need another... I need to get rid of that transfer node. And we are going to grab this one. Because for this time, I can't have this thing that is like... Oh, there's a hole there. Whoops. <laughs> I can't have that thing absorbing all these liquids and just getting in my way. So, get rid of that. There we go. 
So, now let's see if there's any liquid in here. Tiny bit, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, let's just go ahead and we're going to put an iron in there. Actually, I have an iron on me, don't I? Yes, we're going to just put some iron in there. Did not need three, but oh well. Okay, so the iron, uh, iron has smelted, and we're going to pour that into the cast now, and we will get an iron pickaxe head. Perfect. Oh, all right, it's stuck down into the fridge. Uh, into the fridge. Um, into there. I think we are done with this item frame, at least for now. And now we will take it over to the tool forge, where we still have the flint pickaxe. So we're now going to place an iron pickaxe. Actually, where do I exactly place it? There we go. So now instead of it being a flint pickaxe, it is upgraded to an iron pickaxe. So that is how you upgrade a tool. Now this thing is trash. I'm not going to keep it. I don't care about that one. But that way we can finally check that off. And finally, <laughs> we are out of the Stone Age. It's been a bit of time. I mean, we've been all over the place with other things. Let me see if there's anything else that we've done. Um, I'm wanting to go to the Nether soon. So we're going to be doing that. I'm going out of order now, but... Uh, Oh, create an applied energistic system to store your things. We've done that. Uh, passively cooled big uh, react from big mod. Uh, yes, we did that recently. Craft using ender quarry. No. Um, don't have that yet. Nope. We have done, I think, 11,000 RF per tick. And at that point, I think we're definitely not any of the later stuff. But there we go. So we've upgraded our achievement list. Okay. So, anyways, on to making the tools that I actually want to make today. Um, basically, let's actually look at the... I'll show you guys the book. Nope, that's the wrong book. Um, this is the book, basically, the idea. So, here it will describe the different tools you can make. Okay, let's do this away from the tree, because that's going to be annoying. Here we go. Machine humming, I don't mind. Um, but let's just get to the end. So it's going to show now all the different materials, wood, stone, iron, etc. And basically different things that they have. Now that you'll notice here, they have material traits. Um, oh, did I skip? Yeah, material traits. So reinforced would mean that there's a 10% chance per level, so per level of reinforced, um, that the item will not use any durability when it's used. Um, stone bound, the tool mines faster. Jagged, the tool attacks, um, attacks with does... The tool tax with does. That is not proper grammar. Um, more damage as it wears out. Writable adds an extra modifier per piece. Tasty something um, sometimes drops uh, food items. So there's all these different materials here. Um, then that's just showing you how to make different things for some of the materials as well as paper. Um, but basically that's that. Then there is the tool station and you can add stuff to that which we'll get into in a moment. Um, so basically what I want to build I'm going to be building my pickaxe. Um, we're going to be building a pickaxe. That's basically all we're going to do. I don't know yet what I want to do for my sword. There's a lot of things. But we're going to work on one at a time. Um, that's turned off, right? Yep. Okay. Um, actually, I have to go make some item frames. So it's all over here. I'm so disorganized. I am sorry. Okay. Here we have the tool rod. Okay, so just like we did to make the pickaxe head, now we have to do the same thing for making a flint uh, uh, rod cast as well as a binding cast. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. Insert those. I did not mean to make that with iron. Whoops. Did that work? No, not. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Ah. Okay, well this, um, I had a... <laughs> So these will be made for arrows, actually. So later I could use that, but oh, I don't plan on doing that with flint. Um, shit. Okay, so let's go back. I'm going to make another Make another stick. Wait, wh where am I going? Oh my god, Michael, figure your shit out. Okay, stick. Oh, this is the tool rod. It just looks different than flint. There we go. Now we've got a flint tool rod. Got that. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to switch it to gold. Wait, was it saying? When it, no, okay, we have 10 ingots. Okay, put that there. And there we go. Make a proper item cast. Oh my god. <laughs> this mod really isn't that difficult. I don't know why I'm just like struggling with just basic things. Okay, there we go. So we have our casts now. Let me get the pickaxe cast. We have the three casts that we need. Okay. So with my pickaxe, though... 
Actually, to be honest, I guess I didn't really need those uh, two other pieces because what I want to do is use paper because paper will get me a writable uh, modifier, which means I can put more stuff onto, um, sorry, onto my, uh, whatchamacallit, onto my pickaxe. So, uh, I think just for the handle is good enough. So I will use this one. There we go. And I think what we'll do with that one is use obsidian. So we're smelting some obsidian dust right now, and we're going to use that t for the, sorry, whatever this piece was called, the thing, the thing that holds the pickaxe together, whatever it's called, I don't care, um, because obsidian is going to give me reinforced three, which um, is going to make so that the tool is like, has more durability, as well, it's going to have less likely to use that durability, so that's going to be useful. Okay, and there we go, we have the bolt, so now we have the tool rod, we have the binding, let me just dump that stuff out. Don't need that. So we have those two pieces. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, don't need the paper, no. And so then we are on our final piece, which is the pickaxe head. And now for the pickaxe head, I want to use mnulium. Mnulium? Mnulium? Um, that is, a, like, the best material to use. Um, so that material... Oops. Here, where do we go? This is cobalt, and this is ardite. And when we mix them together... Let me just get to the material. We get manuleum. Um, manuleum, let's go ahead. I don't know. It, it, it's very durable. It's like the, has the best durability. So in order to get these materials, what I had to do was take netherrack. And we're going to go there. Um, we had to first pulverize that. If I can find that. There we go. We pulverize it. We get crushed netherrack using that. We then sieve that, and we would have the 1% chance of getting cobalt. Same with the ardite. So these things are not common. There's something that both of them I have neither stack of, um, but we're going to combine them both in here. So we're going to put both stacks in, uh, both of the 15 in there, and that will combine and get me manuleum, and then we'll use that to make the pickaxe head. Our manuleum's created, and now that only gets me 15, so each of those combined only make one. But I, I double checked actually that that's on the bottom. Yes, it is. And here we go. Yay! Our pickaxe is going to be complete. Okay, here we go. Grab that piece. And now we're going to take that over to the tool bench, tool forge, whatever. Um, and we're going to combine all three. What? Did I... Oh, here we go. There we go. I was like, what? Is, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Nothing. So over here you select what you want to make, and then you just basically fill in the pieces with whatever pieces you want to customly make. So, I have a Manulium pickaxe. It has reinforced three, thanks to the obsidian piece here. It has writable, thanks to the paper tool rod. Tool rod is the weakest point anyway for the durability, so it really doesn't impact the durability too much overall. Um, you can see overall that my final durability is 514. Now that actually is Actually, I was wrong. This does lower it a lot, but I, I get writable, which is going to be very valuable because I like to have lots of slots on there. Anyways, so uh, now we can go over here, repair and modifications. So what are we going to do is add some more writable slots onto this thing. So one thing we can do, and I'll get back to the book quickly and get all the way back to the end. And now we're going to cover modifiers. So if I add a, a diamond each on there, um, it has at yeah, sorry, it gets 500 extra durability. If I add an emerald, it adds 50% more durability. If I add redstone, it will make so that this goes fast. Uh, mining speed is increased. Um, if I add uh, moss, the tool slowly repairs itself over time. So this is incredibly the like by far the best thing that it just repairs tools automatically. You don't have to repair them yourself. Over time, they will repair. Um, this will smelt uh, ores and as they go, um, as they're mined. Sorry. Um, this basically adds luck, I think, or fortune, sharpness, um, fire, and just like other, basically a ton of different things. Um, but anyways, what the final thing I want to show here, these, adding these will add an extra modifier slot. So diamond and gold block gets me an extra modifier. Um, golden apple and diamond block, another modifier. Nether star, which I don't have, and then finally a golden head. And so we're going to add those three quickly because I have those set. So here we go with that. Gets me another modifier. That and the diamond, another modifier, and the golden head. 
And the golden head. Was I missing something? Oh, clearly the golden head's enchanted or something, maybe? Okay, so maybe that didn't work. Maybe there's something more I need to do, which, unfortunately, I don't actually know. So I will have to figure that out. Anyways, so finally we're going to go and work on our modifiers right now. I have how many slots right now? I have four modifier slots, so that is actually plenty. Now, the thing I definitely want is the repair. So I have the repair recipe involves vine balls, which is basically, I'll quickly show that, it's just vines rolled up like that. Um, then I take the vine ball and combine that with cobblestone. So we're just going to put some cobblestone here. We're going to put that there. And that will get me mossy cobblestone. There we go. And then finally, I do that. And that gets me this. Let me just put that all there. And I'm just going to get all the ones that I can. Combine that. Okay. Next, what I want is some redstone, because I do want it to mine much faster. So we're just going to go like that. Okay, so now we're back at the tool forge, and we're going to go take the, our pickaxe, and we're going to add a ball of moss. So that now get um, will auto-repair this. And we're going to go get some redstone, because I want it to be faster. So let's do that. And that's going to get me to 18 to 15. This one is stackable, but isn't taking multiple modif uh, modifiers. So we're just going to keep doing that. And let's see. So I'm at 36. So now I just kind of have to slow it down with upgrading it. There we go. And now it can't go over 50 without getting to, like, taking up another slot. So I have five more space uh, spaces. So we're going to break that down. Oh, whoops. And there we go, 50 out of 50. Now, if I were to do that again, then that would be taking up another slot. I could do that to speed it up. I don't want to do that. If anything, actually, I want to upgrade the Mossy yet again. Bring that to Mossy 2. Because now my tool is repairing itself. Um, and then that's basically it. I'm going to leave myself an extra slot for now to decide what I want to do with that in the future. But so now I have an awesome pickaxe. Um, I don't know. We can go break some things just to test out the speed. Let me find somewhere. Just place some blocks down. And so it digs pretty fi uh, quickly. And you'll see in the bottom, there is some damage there. But over time, that will actually disappear. I don't know how quickly that will happen. I did have Mossy 2. Now I can do go like Mossy 3 and just keep stacking that so, so it goes faster. But let's see in a moment. That should just disappear. And so you'll see now that the the damage has disappeared. It has repaired itself on its own. Okay, so anyways, that is Tinker's Construct. There are many combinations you can do with this. I can't really recommend what is best and what isn't uh, because there are so many different combinations. It's really based on like how you use this, which actually in hindsight now I'm thinking... There was no need for me to use obsidian as the material for the center thing, because since I'm having this repair on itself, durability really doesn't matter. Um, which is why originally I was actually thinking of making an obsidian plate to add more reinforce to it. And I was like, no, I really don't need that. If I have repair, I don't need that. Um, I also don't need looting because, hello, I have I have materials galore. And when it, I and like, what am I mining? What, where do I go mining? There's nowhere to go mining. But anyways, um, I mean, I guess when we go to the nether, we'll see what's there. But um, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys with another video soon. Goodbye.